Good morning, everyone. If you saw my last video, you know what's going on here. If you didn't, what's going on here is we put a log, the sugar pine log on here that's too big for the mill, bigger than what Wood Miser says it can mill. You know how we men are. People tell us we can't do something. A lot of times we're just going to do it anyway. Sometimes to our own peril, but in this case, it looks like we're getting away with it and we'll come out with some nice slabs and maybe some decent lumber. I'll put a link to the first video in the description so you can go watch that one after you're done with this one. Let's get the show on the road, see what we can find in the rest of this. I think these first couple cuts into this blue sapwood should have some nice color to it. Let's see what we can find. Let's see what's under board number one. That's nice, but I think it needs the water test. All right, let's go down one more notch and see what we can find. How do you like them apples? What do you think? Was this big old log worth milling up? I would say it keeps getting better, but we're starting to run out of color as we get into the heartwood. It's cloudy, but we have some warm air blowing in. Had to take my coat off. See if that makes it start raining. We're getting out of the colors now as we get into the heartwood. It's a 12 by 13 cant. If it had some good color in it, I'd probably make some mantle pieces out of it. But I think I'm just going to continue cutting one by 12s. Then I'll stack and sticker them over here like I did with the last log until I decide what I want to do with these. When it comes to blue pine, ponderosa pine has been a better seller than the sugar pine but I prefer the sugar pine. I might be biased though because sugar pine may be my favorite tree. If it's not my favorite, it's very high up there and it smells so good. If you cut down just a green sugar pine, the smell is good, but nothing amazing. It's the standing dead trees that fill up with pitch. Some people call it resin out here, we call it pitch. Something about that situation creates such a good smell. And this butt log especially, I can tell it's full of pitch. I have to use a lot of water on the blade to keep it from building up. Normally our pines out here just aren't good at holding up to rot. But I think these pieces are going to be very rot resistant because there's so much pitch in them. On the last video I told you how big sugar pine trees can get. They also have huge pine cones. They can grow up to 24 inches long. 
More commonly they're 16, but they can get very big. And great big seeds in them. They're good to eat. I think they're better than pinion pine nuts. I could take you on a little tour sometime and we could go look at some of my sugar pines. Let me know in the comments if you have any interest in looking at some sugar pine trees. If there's enough interest, I'll take you along and show you a few. Let's get back to cutting. We'll turn this cant into a can. That may be the cheesiest thing I've ever said. And it made absolutely no sense. Here's the middle of the sugar pine log. I took my coat off earlier and of course it starts raining. I'm going to cover this up and cover up the sawmill. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you would. If you want to see some sugar pine trees, let me know.